<laughs> guys, apenas me llegó my package, the Charlotte Tilbury. If you guys saw my last vlog, I was talking about how I need to order stuff from Mexico and I've been debating for the longest time if I wanted to get Charlotte Tilbury bronzers or the one from um, Makeup by Mario. And I honestly just picked these because there's only four shades. And if I were to get the Makeup by Mario, I would feel like obligated to buy all of them. And I think he has like six or seven shades. So I just thought maybe I should just get Charlotte Tilbury. So let's open this puppy up. And yes, I'm on the floor. I know what in there. Okay, so the very first thing that I got was the Invisible UV Flawless Primer. It's a SPF and a primer in one product, so I thought this would be perfect since I do use my skincare as my makeup base. I don't really use primers, so I thought this would be awesome for me. And the packaging, you like kind of just pick up like that. I'm excited for that. And then, of course, the bronzers. She has four bronzers. So here's the first one in the shade Fair. Oh my goodness. These are pretty big. I'm not going to lie, but they're so beautiful. <gasps> ah, how pretty. I got some samples of the Magic Cream and a mascara. How cute it is. A little. Si, compré maquillaje. Me compré estas. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Giselle, if you're new here, hello, bienvenidos. So, estoy en mi makeup studio right now and I came over to drop off the bronzers that I opened up. I'm so excited. I'm kind of anxious to see how they're gonna fit in my kit because they are pretty big. <laughs> And I also got a package from Amazon. I don't know what it is. I think probably the stuff that I bought to restock. <sighs> Ew, I hate that sound. Ooh. For the ansia. Okay, so makeup related things. Two of my favorite eyelash glue. It's the brand Callus. I found this because of another makeup artist. I forgot who it was, so I'm sorry. But uh, she was saying that this was like a really good eyelash glue and it dries really fast like i don't notice me being there for a long long time um it's latex free and without 11 harmful ingredients for the skin get it in the color clear they have a black one if you like black eyelash glue but i've been really liking this one i have this linked in my amazon storefront if you guys want to like see what i use for my makeup kit and it comes in a pack of two like the one that i ordered off of amazon i got more sponges I got seven <laughs> because I just don't like to be empty. I always need these in my kit. Eyelashes that I wanted to try out. I think I ordered more, but I think they're on their way. So these are half lashes and they look a lot thinner and wispier than the other ones that I have. I want to see how these look. And these are a little bit longer and wispier. Yeah. Okay. And then I bought a lot of stuff to, for me to wear. So like a bunch of button downs that are comfortable to like put on top of like outfits like this. So instead of a jacket, I could wear like a button down. So I bought it in this baby blue color. Y esta tela es como un beach cover up. So it's not super like, it's not like very uncomfortable. Like it's soft, but it's still a button down. They have it like where it's just like three buttons, but I got it all the way down. And I got this in a large because I actually did buy this shirt before for last summer in a medium and a white color. And I really liked it, but I wish it was a little bit longer. So me compré este. And this is actually from Amazon too. I bought it like two summers ago. Okay, so it's pretty long. I like the color. It's very baby blue and cute. Now this next one that I got is a little bit thicker. I got this one in a size medium. So this is like a cute light pink. It still covers the butt up. Okay, very nice. And then I bought it in a dark blue, in the same material. Love this color blue. Blue and green are probably one of my favorite colors to wear. And brown, of course. Very nice. 
And this is the ripped romper that I was telling you guys that I bought a bunch of colors in. But I don't have to think about like a top and a bottom. Like this is all in one. And I bought it in medium as well. I hope this fits me. It is adjustable, so that's good. Let me try this on actually. Okay, so it is a little bit like showy if you are very insecure about underwear showing. I'm gonna probably wear a thong with this because you can see like my underwear lines because I have granny panties on. But it does fit me. I don't really have a chest to worry about, so don't mind my bruise. Oh my gosh. I didn't think it would stretch this much because it looked so small. <laughs> Mosquito bites everywhere, even on my back. I'm kind of bloated right now too because I'm about to start my period, but it's okay. Let me show you. So this is like the other ones that I buy that are half lashes, and then these are the newer ones, so they're a lot more thinner. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm taking out my drugstore bronzers and there's nothing wrong with them. I just wanna update my kit to be all high end as much as I can. So that's why I bought these. Please do not beat yourself up because you don't have all high end stuff when you start out because my kit definitely did not look like this a year ago. I'm just gonna play around and see how I can fit these. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later and I am about to wax my underarms. I don't like shaving. If I shave, it hurts. Like I always get ingrowns. So that's why I wax as much as I can. Do this maybe once a month. I just want to like wear short sleeves and I can't because I have armpit hair. I mean, I can, but I'm just really self conscious of my underarms. So I'd rather not. So I'm gonna take them off. I use this wax, wait a second. I use this um, wax, it's hard wax. I think it's syrup pill. And I actually, um, I've never waxed my own armpits with regular wax. My mom used to do it when I was younger, but I was like, no, I need to find something easier and just quicker. So this is just easy, you apply it and then it cools off and you peel it off. So the first thing that I do is I use baby powder and just make sure to put this on your armpit beforehand. It helps for any sweat or anything moist under there to dry and it helps for the process to be easier to peel off. Okay, and I also use this Gigi wax warmer. It has like the temperature control. It's just a little bit nicer. I used to have one where it you just turn it on and it would like warm it up, but it was so hot. So this one is a lot better if you're looking for a good wax warmer. I got it from Sally's. And this is my own wax. Like I don't ever use this on anyone else. So I always double dip. But if you were to use this, you know, on other people, don't double dip. Always use a new stick. I kind of blow on it a little bit and I'm gonna do half my armpit because my hair kind of grows in different direction like this part grows upward like that so I go with the grain and then this lower part I just go down I let it cool off a bit and let the hair off I don't know if you guys want to see 
Um, sometimes I go in with tweezers if there are some little strays. Okay. Oh my god, it's so hot. I think I should have blown on it a little bit more. <laughs> so when you apply it down, you're going to pull it up. Just in case if you didn't know that. I think I'm gonna do it one more time just because I feel like I can get all those little hairs. There's just like a little too many hairs for me to pluck, so. Una más. Una pasadita más. While we're here, waiting for my pit to cool off. Um, so this morning I worked out and since my grandma was sleeping in my gym room, I couldn't really use the treadmill. And I kind of made it an excuse to not work out while she was here but i had to force myself to go back to working out because si no lo hago nunca lo voy a hacer me puse a correr well i don't really run i kind of like speed walk i do 12 3 30 but right now i'm working my way up to 30 minutes which is really hard guys like it's embarrassing that when i get on the treadmill after we're not working out after a whole month me canso at the three minute mark and it's like gosh it's so discouraging Today is my third day back and I worked my way up to 20 minutes now and I'm really proud of myself. You know, it's just amazing what, what happens after you're being consistent and... What's that word? <laughs> well, oh my gosh, what is that word in English? Okay, I thought about the word. It's you have to have discipline. <laughs> you have to be disciplined in order to see results. And having disciplina is really hard. Cuando estás en tu camita y no quieres moverte, you're like, mm, I'm tired. But no, get your booty up. And then also seeing your friends post about it kind of makes you want to do it. I saw like three different people post that they were working out this morning. I was like, I need to work out too. Oh gosh, so satisfying. <laughs> I don't know si quieren verme limpiar mi casa, pero estoy limpiando. Hoy se me, se me antojó limpiar la casa. Um, no, but for all, I needed to mop the house. It was a little bit overdue. And I cleaned my bathroom, so I did that. And then I am currently mopping my house. I do it in sections, so I do my living room first, and then like the hallways, and then I do the kitchen. I'm hoping my sister will help me with the kitchen, but she never really likes to mop or anything. I have to kind of like ask her. <laughs> And yes, this is Jesus. It's a little pillow. So I'm getting ready for work right now and it's Friday by the way. I don't know if I said that so it's gonna be a long afternoon. Um, so what I've been doing today and yesterday, I've been putting this primer from Hourglass. I try to depot all of it into my kit but the remaining of it and the cute packaging, I put it into my own collection because I really want to like test it out myself. I've used it maybe like a couple times but I forgot how it like performs on my skin it does really like help with the longevity of my makeup because yesterday my makeup looked so good when i came back from work and i was sweating and all this and i'm trying to use this foundation from dior i saw that they've reformulated not only the blushes to be talc free but also their foundation you can tell how long i've had this foundation a little too long so i que usarlo so a couple of days ago, I actually took some of my co-workers from the restaurant to see Little Mermaid. And it was so special because they're from Guatemala. And they said it was their first time going to movie theater ever. And I was like, I don't know, it just made my heart so happy that I could take them along with my mom. My mom came with us. But yeah, it was such a special moment. It makes me reflect on my life and how blessed I am. So I just wanted to say that count your blessings guys sometimes we're always complaining like i my life is boring or oh you know so sometimes i like to like think about like zoom out out of my problems and and say you know what yourself your life is not horrible stop complaining people have it worse 
I'm too lazy to wet my sponge, so we're gonna... This foundation is definitely not, like, glowy or anything. This is mattifying on my skin. Or I don't know if it's because of the primer. I don't know. But it's not, like, super glowy. I'm almost done with this. Look. Be on TikTok this This is a dupe for Kosas concealer. And I was like, oh my gosh. That is a good comparison. Because I had that concealer. And it was so good and hydrating. Just like this one. So I definitely do agree with that. I have a lot of content ideas that I'm planning on filming for you guys. For example, of course, the packing with me for Mexico. And also how I'm going to prep for myself, as in like my nails. I'm going to go get a pedicure. I'm going to get a, um, like my Brazilian and all that stuff before I leave for vacation. I kind of want to bring you guys along because I like watching those type of videos. But we'll see because I don't feel like I'll have enough. But let me know if that's a good idea. Oh, I also did buy stuff for myself, like a little bit of outfits, like a couple of dresses and cute little things that I could wear um, over there, but they all haven't gotten here yet, and I kind of want to film that for you guys. Wait, I don't know actually, because like it's not a lot of clothes, I don't know. I'll see, I'll see. Got some stuff from Princess Polly, from Meshki, and from Revolve. I always see like some YouTubers stuff, buy stuff from Revolve and it is expensive so that's why I've always been like hesitant but it's pretty good stuff. Okay, so talking about it being Friday, tomorrow is Karen, Karen's birthday. Okay, Karen, like as in I love Sarai on YouTube. So excited to see everything since I have been anticipating this wedding since they got proposed back before COVID. So it's been a long time coming. She just has like the prettiest like aesthetic and I feel like everything's gonna be like super pretty. I'm excited to see everything. She's gonna be a beautiful bride. I keep telling Celeste to him like, tomorrow is her wedding. I love it when YouTubers that are about to get married do a wedding series. I feel like it's just so nice to see the process and what goes behind planning a wedding, you know, just for view future references for myself. But I just love seeing that stuff. It seems stressful, but so like exciting. Like I'm also watching Lauren Assad's wedding series. She's like my age and she's like also very aesthetically pleasing to watch. And she's just, she just has a like, good taste. So I'm excited to see her wedding as well. A lot of people People are getting married right now it's like the wedding season when i was younger i always thought that i would get married like really young like my parents because that's all i knew but then i was like growing up and i was like you know what i actually don't want to get married like at 16. my parents were 16 my dad was like 18 or like 19 or something like that just the times were different so definitely don't want to do that didn't do that so i'm just trying to enjoy my singlehood until the time is right for me and my boyfriend but what what do you have You're to say singleton i said my singlehood singlehood well that's not really accurate but i well what do you say um my single life you you guys know what i mean though okay nadie aquí me diga cosas desde chiquita me acuerdo que yo siempre soñaba con una fiesta grande un vestido así ampón pero ahorita en este momento de mi vida i'm like no i want something so much more simple something that won't eat me up i want to be like the jewel i don't want the dress to like look like overpowering i think i would have multiple dresses just because i'm like kind of extra but i don't know lo que dios quiera i'm even alive by tomorrow you know what i'm saying like i can plan it all i want but you just never know life is crazy sometimes maybe right now if i could i would do something a lot smaller but it's so hard guys like being hispanic our families are so big. Like, just my family alone. My mom has seven siblings. And then my dad is the oldest of 11. And Adrian's family also. His dad is, like, I think of 18 siblings. So, yeah. It's kind of 
kind of a struggle just thinking about trying to make it small but i'll worry about that when the time comes si dios permite pero i love the idea of weddings and getting married and all that like i would definitely do a wedding series just to like document everything and have it for recuerdos eso es algo que i regret a lot is that when i was younger i wish i had done a little bit more vlogging for example when i won the pageant in mexico i wish i did videos and vlogs during that time because i want to look back on that and i just don't have anything i just have like the movie that they gave me after the certamen was over they gave me like the video to watch por lo menos tengo ese video pero no tengo like behind the scenes or like how i was feeling during that time which i can already kind of remember it was a very stressful time that's why i didn't record at all that summer i was just like how am i going to do that like i can't i was just too anxious during that whole process but now i'm like dang it just so because i love looking back at my old videos it's so entertaining because you see a lot of personal growth within oneself like i'll definitely do this for a long long time in my life because i just love looking back at my memories and like what happened during my life it's just so so entertaining like if you also like doing that you don't have to post it on youtube you could just you know post it on private and keep it there and like this could be like your personal diary that's kind of like why i do vlogs because i love looking back in different times of my life. I'm about to finish. Okay, I'm just gonna put this lip gloss on. This is Moon by Maybelline. What's up guys? I just wanna do like a quick update on my makeup. I just wanted to show you how my makeup looks like after I get out of work. It is currently 11 o'clock at night. I feel like that primer really helps with the longevity of this makeup. Hey guys, so... No me quería meter a la alberca. Like, it wasn't part of my plan, but it's a really pretty day. So, a couple of days ago, like, we had a really bad thunderstorm. And my mom told me that the table and the umbrella fell into the pool. So, now I have to go in and get it. Um, it's going to be a little difficult because it's literally a heavy-ass umbrella with a table connected together. So, I'm going to try my best and get it out. My mom's going to help me, of course. I have to get in the pool, though. Let me show you. It's right in there. We managed to take it out. It was really hard, but we did it. So, fun fact about my shorts. These used to be my mom's when she went on a honeymoon trip with my dad to Hawaii. So, my parents didn't have their honeymoon until 13 years later since they got married so young and they didn't have a lot of money. They decided to go to Hawaii for like two weeks and I remember that because I was like three years old. But I do remember that I asked my mom and dad to bring me a mermaid in a swimming pool because I knew they were flying and I was like, how are they going to be able to bring a mermaid if she needs water? So I was like, please bring her in a pool so she can live. But yeah, I never got the mermaid, obviously. So my mom and dad brought me a mirror. I remember she brought me like a handheld mirror that was like a little gold one. I still have it. It's really, really pretty and it looks very vintage and cute. I will definitely keep that forever and never. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday today. Sorry, I'm moving you guys everywhere. I'm finishing up getting ready because i'm going to church right now with my sister and my brother and i think my mom it's father's day today too i don't know if i said that happy father's day to all those single mothers or single fathers or just fathers i've been trying to go to church in the morning since i do have to work all day on sunday so we go to the 8 a.m mass which is a little hard to wake up to but I'm trying. I'm trying to get better at attending church. That's been another journey of mine that I'm trying to get better at. And last night, 
Karen's friends and Karen Sarai posted everything of their wedding so I was like catching up when I first woke up because I you know they didn't really post much last night or yesterday which I think is nice everyone was more like focused on the wedding but yeah everyone everyone on the social media was like anticipating this wedding she looked really really good and happy and everyone seemed like they had a blast at their wedding it felt like I was going but <laughs> that's what I was trying to tell my, my siblings I was like this wedding is iconic. You guys don't understand. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. We need to leave because we're, we're on late. While I was getting ready this morning, I was listening to the soundtrack of The Little Mermaid. It makes me so happy in the morning. Okay. A little bit of this one. So ahorita estamos de shopping in el mall and I haven't been shopping at the mall in a long long time I'm here with my mom and my sister So we already bought some stuff I bought some shoes, botas, sandals Y estamos haciendo el baño A little potty break I haven't bought clothes in the mall in a while so It's kind of nice to walk around and see things and then try them on Because you know online you can't try anything on and then yeah So that's what we're doing right now I was eyeing these Steve Madden sandals for the longest time. I'll show you guys, like, I'll do a whole video of, like, stuff I'm buying, like, clothes and shoes. And then these are some, like, cowboy high knee boots that I was eyeing for a long time, too. So I tried that on. Oh, Lord. I'm really, really excited to show you guys. All right, guys, I'm home with... But I want to show you my shoes that I bought. So these are the Steve Madden boots. I've been eyeing cowboy boots and just in general high knee boots. But these were just beautiful. I loved the tone of them. They're like a beige bony color and they're really comfortable. I did have to size up one so that I don't have to like worry about them being too tight or anything. And then I bought these chanclas right here. So I've been eyeing something like with this style. Like, please don't mind my unpainted toenails as well. Like I know I need to paint them. I've seen different brands come out with their version of it. So I was like, okay, these are really cute and simple. They're not like super noticeable like if what brand it is. I was gonna get the black ones, but they didn't have them in store. If I ordered them online, they would get to me like mid july or something and i actually really like the beige color it's really really chic and cute i like the gold hardware on it too i'm so excited to wear these hey guys so i know this vlog is probably really crazy and out of whack is that how you say it i don't even know so oh, i went to walmart with my mom and i bought the lumify eye drops that claim to whiten your eye and i mean i don't know how non-white my eye is but let's try it out i don't have contacts in I don't know if I could put this on with contacts. So I should read the directions. Este cuesta como más de 15 dólares, I'm pretty sure. So it is kind of pricey for a small botellita. I'm scared. Did you see if you can wear contacts? No, I don't have any anyway. Oh, okay. Okay, so my eyes look like this. They're kind of, they've been veiny. It says remove contact lenses before use. I'm gonna Google if I could wear after, you know? It says wait at least 10 minutes before reinserting contact lenses. Oh, okay. <gasps> I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was excited. Okay. Um, or are my eyes already white? Because they look the same. Or que hice mal? It's not instant? No, it doesn't say. It says install one drop in the affected eyes every six to eight hours. Do not use more than four times daily. Mm -hmm. um, well. Works in a minute, it says. Okay. I mean, can you guys see a difference? I mean, my veins look a little bit smaller. Las cosas que nos ponemos en el cuerpo, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you guys see a difference? Pues yo no sé. Okay, um, like four or five minutes later, my eyes do look super white. At least I notice it because my veins are usually very noticeable in my eyes. They've gotten a lot, a lot smaller. So you just have to wait a couple minutes. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to end the vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. Keep your eyes out for a haul. I think I'm going to do a whole clothing haul once everything gets here from the mail. Yes, Nachito. And I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to be part of my family here on YouTube. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.